Because life has no reset button, think safety. Uh, let me tell you a little about the history of where this comes from. Back in the 1960s, the British government and indeed the American government were worried about a threat of biological warfare. And what was known was that during the day, bugs of all sorts, uh, bacteria, viruses, fungi, were killed fairly efficiently, uh, thought to be the result of ultraviolet light and water vapor. But what was feared was that at night, there was no killing mechanism. So if you were attacked at dusk, for example, you'd get a huge spread over hundreds and hundreds and maybe thousands of square miles of territory. So the governments charged uh, the British Port and Down establishment to find out what happened at night. And they did some neat stuff. They got spiders to spin webs specifically and they then tried those out in the open air and they found very much to their surprise that at night pathogens of all sorts were killed much much faster what then happened was what all governments do which is they said hey there's no threat left so there's no money and they stopped the research a colleague of mine uh, Derek Elwood who had been the head of Porton Down a very distinguished microbiologist told me about this and about 12 or 13 years ago we started the research and where we are now is that we can exactly reproduce what happens in the open air the killing rate for pathogens of all sorts indoors because the problem we've got is that that natural protection that happens in the outdoors which in effect has meant that we've survived as a species for however many millions of years it is doesn't work inside enclosed spaces. We're flat not designed to live in little boxes. Uh, but we do. And the real problem is that in, say, that convention hall, if you have one person with an infectious influenza, it'll spread like wildfire. Take the same group of people sitting that close together in an open air concert, and it won't. And what we do is we figured out how to make the natural protection of the outside air work inside. How it works is that in uh, ozone occurs naturally everywhere. It occurs naturally in your body. If the cells in your body work harder, they'll excrete ozone. If trees in the Blue Ridge Mountains uh, get hotter, they excrete ozone. And that ozone gets degraded back into oxygen by the action of the natural scent. Uh, the reason that the Blue Ridge Mountains are called the Blue Ridge Mountains is that that is the reaction that's taking place. It's the scent of pine needles working with ozone. You get the polymerization, which is that blue haze that's so attractive. But what you're also getting is a massive dose of hydroxyl radicals. Hydroxyl radicals have been described very succinctly as being absolutely essential to life. And what we do is inside the machine, so there's no ozone being released, we actually reproduce precisely that natural reaction. Same reaction that happens in your body, same reaction that happens out in, in the open air. And we do that to produce a cascade of hydroxyl radicals. If you have a hydroxyl radical, then you get what's called a cascade reaction. A little like, you know those executive toys that used to be very popular where you had all of the balls and they went boing. What happens is that the hydroxyl radical will break a carbon bond in, say, one of the proteins in the surface of one of the pathogens. But the energy that's released when that bond is broken is released in the form of more hydroxyl radicals. So if you've got a bigger space, having a bigger machine doesn't help you. Uh, having a bigger machine doesn't kill more bugs more quickly. Uh, you've got a defined spread. The little machine which is in the hall there, that is pretty optimal for about a thousand square feet, roughly. And what that will do is that will clean 
to 99.999% of all of the pathogens in that area in less than an hour. But what's much more important is that if you've got people coming in and going out and coming in and going out, then it will keep the level of pathogens down below the infectious level. Because you can clean the best way you ever wanted to in the entire world. You can have the cleanest rooms that you can imagine. And as soon as one person walks back in, they ain't safe any longer. Because where pathogens come from is from people. They don't come from any other place. Infection is carried by people.